What fascinates me now, okay, Robert, now we're getting to something interesting. <clears throat> How your fodder feeds your work. Fodder or fodder? The, the fodder, F-O-D-D-E-R. Right. Oh, your fodder. Stop it. Stop it. You mean, hello, mother, hello, fodder. No, 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 no. Stop it. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, no. Uh, <clears throat> the actual fodder, the actual raw material of what you do. Um, I, I am getting a whiff that there's a different way now that sometimes in the rehearsal room we're dealing with trauma, and I don't always approve of it. I think um, sometimes this this stuff is better dealt with only through the text and uh, some sharing, but not, uh, first of all... Uh, Sorry, you're talking about... Oh, I'm, I think that sometimes now we're asking for cushions. We're asking for a, a cushioning or a... I've even heard that sometimes people go trigger, trigger in rehearsal where I, 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 I think there has to be a very healthy way of addressing the fact that being in rehearsal means dealing with trauma and you have to deal and not always in a way that uh, I think there have to be parameters where uh, a director is allowed to uh, tap into it in a non-abusive way of course but it is going to happen. But so the question is, because yeah. I totally get where you're. You, do you get where I'm going? I'm having a hard time. What is ex what is expected of actors in rehearsal? What are we expected to bring? What are we expected to risk? What are we expected to take on to produce the art? And that's the question, because it's now up for grabs, right? Some people are saying, well, you shouldn't be expecting that level of whatever rawness or exposure for me because I'll be triggered and I don't want to go to those places. Well, then Other you people can't are be saying, unless you walk in the room with your entire self, there's no point in you being here. So yeah. where do we go as performers you, as the world? Yeah, you can't, you can't be an actor if you don't go there. Um, but I think the level to which you allow... <clears throat> I think it has to be done within the parameters of the role. So first of all, you set up strictures for the workplace. I was one of the first ones to go, oh God, if there's too much respect, are we gonna get anything done? And I have to say, I was the first one who availed myself of it, of the not in our space, because I thought, oh, maybe I was gonna do, a, I was doing a play where I was gonna to have to be naked under a blanket with an actor the first scene, and we were going to have the first read in front of docents and donors, and I was going to feel quite vulnerable, having not worked with this actor for many years. And so I thought, oh, I can ask for different rules. I said, could we maybe not have the docents and donors there on the first day? Could we have one read-through where I get to say, hey, you and I are going to be naked under a sheet here. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How's, it doing? How's it going? And Gosh, that was a good idea. So I availed myself of something that was a good idea. Having said that, it went away and we got down to the work. I think um, there are certain directors where you know, don't ever cry because of what the director's saying. Don't ever, uh, well, I mean, that was Robin Phillips. I think that kind of stuff is acceptable because he's saying, I can only... Sorry, the thing is, don't ever cry? Well, because of, 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 because of the way the director is talking to you. Go and cry else. Well, where? Oh, Probably. so if you are upset or something yeah, is triggered yeah. or how a director is talking to you, yeah. don't have it in the room, go, go and deal with it Well, only else. in as much as you're channeling it through the role. Now, that he might not survive in today's industry, but part of... He probably wouldn't, but, but part of me says there have to be ground rules about, so for instance, Pip Minthorpe, with whom we've just worked, was so respectful and inclusive in terms of, we were very clear about uh, that we were all coming from different cultures and that we all had different sensitivities and he was really clear about addressing them, but it was always in the context of the work and the role and the map of the play. And so I guess I would say every bit of trauma has to be addressed, actually. 
but how much time you spend on it has to be dictated by the parameters of the play and not your own personal journey. Sorry, that may sound cruel, but there are, there, there are elements of the personal journey that I think we have to take on ourselves. I can't make everything in rehearsal be about my trauma with my dad. I mean, sorry. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do.